Hey guys, back here at Donut Derelicts. It's PC on your TV. I had to switch from my YouTube feed and go back live because I ran out of memory on my phone. So we're watching roll-ins and roll-outs live on Facebook right now. If you guys get a chance, please like and subscribe to my channel, PCTV, Comfort Vision in Memory of Dano. And uh, would love to see you uh, uh, bat on the channel. Hey Rick, how you doing buddy? Yeah, I just got through doing my YouTube feed. I'm doing the last of the rollouts. I completely ran out of phone memory, so I can only roll live now. I've got Tammy over here. Here comes that 340. Six buck. Thank you, brother. Love you, man. Take care, you guys. We're rolling live right now. Rolling live for Dano. Hey now, Surf City. Get in the house. And there's Cam. Yeah, I've got I've got work to do today myself. <laughs> Tammy. Alright, well, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and work on the bug. I got a wire in my head unit and I've got freaking uh, transmission leak on the C10. So I think I got work to do today. I was supposed to hook up with Moses too. I don't know where the hell he's at. Hey Moses, if you can hear me, man, uh, I'm in the parking lot still. Bring that air tank and shit to me so I can take a look at it. Get that air ride set up for you going. All right. Anybody else coming out? Let's see what else we got going here. Okay, so we're still rolling live on Facebook. Out we go. Like that, uh, like that sedan. Very nice. Nice tutor. Also very sweet. Man, I'm ready for some coffee. Counter key! Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got Skull Crossbow Spray Money Payment Pack. I can't even talk. Maintenance day, that's me too, Rick. Dude, I, well, I gotta do that head unit, and I gotta, I gotta start setting them. Also, dude, I gotta start setting my four link on my, uh, on my seventy one too. That thing's sitting. I gotta start figuring out what I'm gonna do with the front end on that, also, which way I'm gonna go. All right, well, it's uh, quieting down. I'm just gonna cruise through real quick and uh, do my final walk. My back is feeling a whole lot better, but my knee is still really jacked up. It's an interesting sled I hadn't really seen before. It's got a serious chop on it. Again, we're rolling live, so I don't have any memory to record off of this. So I'm using Facebook with their lousy resolution to get me down the road. Oh, wait, I know this car. It's just got a, it's got a respray on it. Oh, I know this car. I just have a bad memory. That's my problem. The side pipes are cool instead of lake pipes. A little change. Oh, we got a TR6 over here. When I was a kid, this was one of the cars I wanted until I realized the woes of owning British cars, but then I started changing everything over to, uh, hey, Ellen, how are you, sir? Much better, thank, uh, yeah, thank you for all the prayers and everything, I really appreciate it. Oh, I sure, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, it's, it's 50, I mean, thank you. Yeah, that's all I have to say, it's like, I'm here. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. So, yeah, this TR6 is really cool. He's got his red lines. I was in love with these cars. You know, I built several of these back in the 80s and stuff. I, you know, I'd buy them really cheap out of San Francisco. And uh, me and a couple guys, and we'd buy them and, and fix them up. We did it with Alfa Romeos, Fiat 2000s. And we'd buy these things for nothing. And, nothing. and then we had a guy, we called him the Colonel, and we'd sell them to him, and he'd ship them back to England. And, you know, he probably made more money on them to do... Uh, some stuff. Yeah, I gotta do some. My 71's nothing to look at, Rick. I gotta get the cab over to Bead Blast. And once I get the cab over to Bead Blast, get Epoxy Prime, I've decided just to go ahead and start building the car. You know, I, I mean, the truck. I'm just gonna go ahead and start building it. I'm gonna put it together in bare metal and just start getting the thing put together. I gotta get the LS6 picked up for it. Think about doing that sometime in the next week or so. If I get the LS6 dropped in it in the next couple of weeks, that would be really cool. That would get me motivated then and get that cab out and get it back. Cause you know, this is what I'm looking at building right here, Rick. This is my truck right here. This is what's sitting in pieces in my garage right now. Is this truck except all shaved. So the only thing it's gonna have on it is mirrors and, and bumpers and a grill. 
That's about it. I mean, I, I did it back 20 years ago, so I shaved everything like an idiot, but that was back then. All right, looks like Coleman's leaving. He's live too. Here's a nice 56 Del Rey over here, 58 Del Rey, excuse me. There's a 58 Del Rey. Let's see who's leaving here. Five bucks says that's John leaving. Yeah, I'd recognize that car anywhere. See you, brother. All right, there is the madman in the POS Ford. All right. Well, you guys, I think I'm gonna go home. Go work on some stuff. Yeah, we're pretty emptied out now. Oh, he were, there's my pick of the week from a few weeks ago, or gosh, a month or so ago. I am so terrible with names. He's such a nice guy, too, and I can't think of his name right now. I have to go look at the interview. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. We got a 57, a couple 57s left. Of course, we got this crazy ass uh, XJ6 that's been around since I can ever remember. I've been seeing this car forever, and it still looks as good as it ever did. He's 540 con converted. Just a really sick car. There you go, Broski. There's always one there for you. And then, how you guys doing? Yeah, I've been. This car's been around for God as long as I can remember, and he's still like I said, he keeps it looking just great. Dano, you always love this car. I remember it really well. There's another great truck here. So I guess I'm gonna make my way to my C10 and go uh, work on some stuff. Got things to do today, but had to get down to Derelicts and get some fabrication in. Okay. All right. Ooh, I see a Suburban over here. That's pretty bad and pretty low. Another little five-window coupe here. Looking like a... Uh... What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how you doing? 39? 39 with the wing windows, right? There we go. Shoehorn that motor. Don't you know it? All right, brothers. Okay, so uh, let's see. I got a 67 Camaro SS over here. We got a wide-body Hellcat leaving. You know, not my taste. I never did find uh, Moses. Uh, this uh, Suburban's pretty badass. It's a pretty sick ride. I like it. I have to see if they have some magnetic tape here. Curious to see if they have magnetic tape. Very cool. All right, VIX 86. And this is a true Grand National. Back in the day, dude, you could you couldn't give these away. Now everybody's paying huge money. They're 50k now. You can pay 11, 12 grand for one of these in excellent condition 20 years ago. Nobody freaking wanted them. Today. They're just fully holy grail cars. <laughs> and it's got one of your stickers on here, bro. And of course, Dano, you're covered, my bro. There you go, buddy. All right. Yeah, the Suburban's pretty sick, huh? Yeah, he's got that shit laid tight. All right, I'm going to get in my POS and go, you guys. That's it. I think I'm going to see if I can't find some magnetic tape. i got a couple things I want to do today, too, so... All right, here it is, the Frankenton. We never do features on this thing because it's a pile. All right, oh man, I think I'm done, you guys. Uh, what do you think? Oh, you know, what I do have is I do have coffee. I'm happy about that. I am happy for coffee. Oh, okay, I'm in the truck. Yeah, I swear. I mean, we couldn't. You couldn't give those things away, right? It was just stupid. So, okay, watch my finger there. Uh, watch, don't, don't, whoa, don't pull my finger. Don't pull my finger. Okay, here we go. I'm going to clip in right now. Okay, there we go. I'm clipped in. I think I'm focused. There we go. Oh, no, man. I bring my own coffee. <laughs> I just had it sitting in the truck. Okay, so this is the fun part now. We get to just kind of just sit here and hang out.
because my leg is freaking tired. Oh, and I gotta find Moses too. I don't know where the heck Moses went. Um, I guess when you go off, you go off. So, okay, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, drinking coffee. I'm trying to figure out where Moses is. Actually, I'm coming back. Um, I'm gonna go back to my house. I'm gonna work on the bug. I'm gonna finish wiring in the head unit this morning. And then I have a big birthday party to go to later on today. And I have a bunch of stuff to uh, edit. Uh, my camera's full. My memory's completely full of my camera, so I can't shoot another thing on it on my phone. So that's always an indicator of me needing to uh, clear stuff and get some stuff produced. So, okay, guys. Oh, I hope I didn't kill my battery. I left my ignition on again. Darn it. Oh, man. Oops. See, I do. That's what happens when you have 1080 cranking amps. I got a 1,080 cranking amps. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to get a hold of, I had to talk to. Yeah, it starts like, yeah, you just barely even twist the key and it goes. Now I'm waiting for Moses to show up. And uh, then uh, we're going to roll over to my house. There go all the bikes. Had a couple nice low riders here today. There goes that Merc that's for sale. That thing's pretty dope. Like that Merc. Yeah, I'm waiting for Moses to show up. So I think I'm going to shut it down and go into uh, Ace and see if they got some magnetic hardware tape. Curious to see if they have something like that because I want to see if they have that so I can uh, um, hook up my uh, uh, PC TV button directly to my uh, uh, gimbal setup. Excuse me, I can't even talk. That would be nice though because, yeah, I'd like to be able to run that on my camera so people can kind of get an idea who's looking at them. But everybody's really nice today. Got a lot of nice uh, feedback from people and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, okay, I'm going to shut her down. I'm going to walk into. Uh, what the hell? I'm just going to walk into Ace right now. So I'm going to... Again. Um, excuse me a minute. Oh, there goes a schwizzer or a whizzer. All right, I'm unclipped again. Huh. My battery just went in. My phone just went in low power mode. But, yeah, I want to see if they have some magnetic tape. What the heck was I looking for magnetic tape for? Magnetic tape, magnetic tape. Oh, yeah, duh. For my smooth. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. One more sweep of the lot. There's that Suburban again. Yep, it's thin down quite a bit. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. I think I got a mask in my pocket here. All right, brother. Oh, hey, and then of course, I got to polish my wheels, they look terrible. I got new wheel caps too, that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta see if I can uh, sandblast those wheel caps down that I got. I'm starting to kind of ignore this thing, but I tell you what, Putting that California car cover on it just has really, really made a difference. I mean, again, I haven't washed the truck in three and a half weeks, and this is just having it underneath the cover. So it's holding up pretty well. I'm pretty stoked. Um, and then I'm going to go into Ace right now, so I'll talk to you guys later.